Slow Food International. It's an organization started by a man named Carlo Petrini. He objected to the fact that the Golden Arches of McDonald's were moving into the city of Rome and greeted that entrance of fast food into Italy with his counter-revolution of slow food. Every other year in slow food, we send a group of delegates from the Oregon region to Italy to learn about other slow food groups which exist all around the world. Putting together a delegation of small family farmers, of people dealing with food justice issues, and people who simply enjoy dining. This year, food justice and access are a huge focus at the Terra Madre, which is held in Turin, Italy, in October. It's a very exciting time for us to think about putting together a delegation. In Portland, we bring the slow food movement into planning and working with uh, food access issues, with local farmers, with trying to eat as close to the earth as we can, or as organically as we can. And today, we're viewing with a group of people all across the United States, TED Type Talk, which is hosted in New York today. This institution, TEDx Manhattan, has changed the food movement. Edible insects could be the key to global food sustainability. FDA 2011, 7.7 .7 million pounds of antibiotics to treat humans. Look at that number for animals that we made sick by designing the systems we asked them to live in. We are in an absolute end game situation. We have to change, we have to redesign. When I see these operations, I don't see factories making meat. I see factories making trillions and trillions and trillions of drug resistant bacteria. Both small organic farms and big organic in the supermarket are growing side by side. So I urge you to choose organic wherever and whenever you can so we can keep this healthy food revolution growing. What does it really mean to be a farmer? And all I do know is that words won't cut it sometimes, and sometimes we need more. To build strong relationships, we need allies in the movement so that different types of people can come together to create change together. And we can create the future when we have hope, when we're laughing, when we're singing, when we actually bring the soul and the spirit and the vibe and the uh, into our work. 
even though it has this sense of the Monday blues and another manic Monday, our research actually indicates that most people see it as an opportunity for a fresh start. So it's kind of like this mini New Year's, but rather than just one time a year, you get 52 chances to stay on track. We need to have food literacy as part of the academic curriculum in every school. We need to stop feeding children carnival food. We need to stop serving them food on a stick. What we do serve is good, healthy, quality, nutritious food. With the obesity stats that we're facing, we're seeing kids missing school because they're sick far too often. We're seeing a lower academic performance. School food can be that catalyst for change. My students overcome more every day than I will in my lifetime. So this conference is about changing the way we eat, but I also want to make sure that we're changing the way we talk. If we're really going to change the way we eat, then we really need to change the way we give. This is when the internet levels the playing field. This is when any mom in Texas who starts a blog can be an activist and can change what's going on in our food system. The hunt for food needs to start recruiting hunters. We need to get hunters to reclaim their roots, their root vegetables, their fruits, their fruits of labor, their native dishes, their dignity, their humanity, their hunger, and their fulfillment. Do we have a food movement? And the heart of it is yes, we have a food movement because all of us fighting for all of those different pieces are doing so because we believe that fair food is a fundamental human right. The women who put food on our tables in America cannot actually afford to feed themselves. When are we going to see that we cannot have actually truly sustainable food without sustainable conditions for the workers who touch that food? Because we cannot shop our way out of a problem. We're going to send a clear message to Congress that we're organized, we're viable, and we're strong, and yes, we have a food movement, and it's coming for you. I've had the privilege of working with a lot of the speakers on their talks beforehand, so I've known that one of the underlying themes today was going to be about collaboration and working together. Change Food and TEDx Manhattan are committed to helping build bridges. We're committed to helping amplify voices in the food movement. And we hope to play a positive role in fostering collaborations when they make sense. I'm pleased to say that over the past couple days, I've reached out to several organizations, and we've all agreed that now's the time that we should come together and put together a statement of principles, basically saying that when we work together toward a shared goal, that we will be more successful and we will get more done. So I'm up here with my friends, inviting all of you to join us, especially people online, everybody in the audience. Please get in touch and let us know if you would like to sign on to the statement, if you would like to help develop the statement, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, if you would like to get involved anyway. And I urge you to do it now. Get on your email, diane at changefood.org, or at Diane Hats, and let's see what we can all do together. Because the only way we're going to change the food system is if we do it together. Thank you, everybody. There is so much that needs to be done to fix our industrialized food system. Mm -hmm. And slow food takes a very holistic view of the food system and how we can fix it as far as good, clean, and fair food for all. That includes, is it good to eat? Is it tasty? Is it pleasurable at the table? And then taking it on to, is it fair for the workers and the animals and the people that serve us? And is it clean to the environment? So it's such a holistic approach to food. 
Slow food is about meeting people where they're at. And that might be um, people just learning about what they're doing, uh, going shopping at the farmer's market, trying to learn where their food comes from, getting to know the farmers and the food producers. And then maybe it's taking a little bit farther into more of an activist role and looking at how we can change um, through our uh, public officials.